Alrighty, here we are. Alrighty. Alrighty, well, we, today we are continuing the stream. Things in order. This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Looks kind of cracked there. <laughs> All right, hey, we've already done this part before. Gotta go up. Gotta go up. Oh. <laughs> there we go. It's a hard to see there. What's under there? You think? there you ah, go. like to smashing through things for fun <laughs> and profit. Lovely. Confused here. Um, uh, huh. I have to do a lot of looking around in order to figure out where to go now. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> you must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. Yeah, that's for sure. There he is, but there's... <laughs> we've played the games uh, to, to know that. Man, I still can't believe it's broken, though. Yeah, she 
heal. Goodbye. curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open rum trap with Sparta Farm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We'll go. Really? But... If we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. Doing that out of frustration. Can't blame him going along with this. But I felt good get to abandon his search. <laughs> da, 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 da. And back to the house. Definitely for sure that this place is no longer Hello. safe. Over here. Oh, there's Sindri. Sindri! <gasps> As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'll follow me. Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. <laughs> After you, my friends. That's one way to put it. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <laughs> After that, <laughs> we thought we should make up some rooms until you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like it reappeared, uh, appeared quite a bit ago. Well, <laughs> oh, here we go. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter, it's safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're huh. into shimmering gray voids. That's actually That's pretty smart, not gonna lie. We have a plan to talk to you about, it, actually. Intriguing. <laughs> Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay, then. Your bedrooms are there, the <laughs> kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's... What? It it's okay. I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. <laughs> Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holdra brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. <laughs> How'd that get in here? What the hell 
is anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. <laughs> it looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. Yeah, I suppose what's done is done. <laughs> but you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. <laughs> Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what yeah, I can come on, do. Brock. Do the man a favor. In the meanwhile, if how about I fix you all? up with something to get you by? I only got materials to make one of these in the here and now. You bring me more resources, we'll see what we can do. Hmm. There we go. If the kid's gonna insist on getting taller, best make a habit of swinging in for new duds. Let's not currently equipped. Uh, hmm. Looks like Fimble Winner's been hard on our girl. Give her here. She's overdue for some Brock love. There we go. Some items. All right, so it's fortified hut. Left behind, tossed him in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Hey, where's the armor I made you? I used it. I busted my shapely hunkers. Forging every manner of breastplate and pauldron and all of creation. And yet now you stand before me, two step from butt ass naked. Maybe this go round use it a little more carefully, huh? I will not. <laughs> I will not. Okay, now the waste. Damn! Am I good or what? Need something special? Now don't go get yourself killed, hear me? Very well. <laughs> See? I knew you wanted a snack. Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to locate a tray. Uh, oh, uh, over here. Hey, come see. Finding everything all right, I hope? 
I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a pretty nice place. Pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, this place is definitely definitely be a lot safer than. I'll be ready when you are. Promise. There you go. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <sighs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is. Yeah, sorry. Uh, take care of some things. Need to blow my nose. Ah, shit. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little better today, though. A little better. Full of minds, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Derlin. Who's Derlin? He's a cousin of ours. Sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. All right, then. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like Dark Elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Nidavellir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. 
It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. Hey, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> oh, cool, Leo. You hear that? Hear what? We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, you stodging bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it. <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Frostle just eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just need to adjust. <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! Yeah. <laughs> Here's your takes a joke, you old goat! <laughs> I was rock on that, hey, come on! Why, well, can't he do... He can't, he can't carry that seed. The trust is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Hmm. So I can use the, the world tree to travel between between realms now? Okay. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Let's try second lock. <laughs> Through here. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that lot? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh... Careful, lad. Ah! 
Why are these things so fast? He would already off to a lively stop. Atreus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. Yep. Oh, right here. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like... Did you just say, woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Sorry, Ed. Ah, <coughs> oh, shit. Uh, did you see that over there? Channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. If only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in a second. <laughs> Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. That's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's got to be a faster way to get down there. Behind 
Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. <coughs> well, there! Your man's a warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfein. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. There we go. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartelfein? I lot. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? <laughs> cool. We can do that now. <laughs> Cat those geysers? 
Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. One of those guys. Is there another one somewhere? Dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. That is true, because we know we know too well how all that works. Yikes, this place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grim around.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. <laughs> Good thing you learned the runes, brother. On safe roads. So no, Kratos is the one keeping a journal. <laughs> around here somewhere. Oh, right there. That's everything here. Wanna get going? Yep. Let's 
Go, Atreus. Seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Brother, look, that strange bugger popped back out of the ground again. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. behind it. But how? Huh. Huh. <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it dropped. <clears throat> There you go. I feel I was over there. Father, there. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Look! There's a chain we can pull up there. You can uncover that geyser from here. I 
get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheels. coming down there's still the other change to pull but how are we gonna get to it Something else we can hit? You could try hitting the rope holding the block. I still don't see how we can get up to that chain. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. hitting the rope holding the block. Right. Right. Oh. <laughs> nice one. Can you see anything from that block? Freezing the guys are under the wheel. Maybe. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Alrighty then. Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. <laughs> that earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. 
Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey, towards. Oh. They're, uh, running away. Guess they don't like lizards. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk we to you for a trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Thank you. Take your time. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? On your left! Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors Looks around like I here. I could probably hold more than one resurrection stone. That's good to know. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. <laughs> Alrighty, more material. Ah, uh, fuck. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? 
It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest people. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. On your right! Excuse me, but we're looking for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Leave! <gasps> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to subtle means of resistance. Not me interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. <laughs> I think I see something. Hello? What? What? Can I do it? Woof, woof. Can I leave?
This looks promising, right? Oh, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. You got a point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry. thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off. Oh, there we go. By the time we're... By the time the compass uh, came back. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel.
I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. Asgard. Couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. <laughs> if they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Still see to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. You didn't well, have fun. <laughs> anyway, we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Alrighty.
Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. The hurry will be so. that can help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. If the dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Huh? <coughs> ah, fuck. <coughs> 